Did you see that? Yeah. That went off track. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today, we just got done film with the Typhoon, and now I'm not used to this thing. Jeez. It's so much different. It's a big RC car. so much more stable. We're going to be taking this thing to Private Isle to rip, like I said. We can't hit any hill climbs because it, it, it's a swamp down there, okay? We had a crap ton of rain. This grass has really stayed down. Last time this was cut was in June, by the way. <laughs> Two months. Literally. It was a late night in the middle of June. Oh, my God. Max hates that song. That song is so bad. It really is bad. I'm not, I'm sorry, guys. It's freaking bad. Yo, she's drifting, dog. She be drifting. More than Colton's girls drift away from him. Oh, dang. Yeah, it's drifting that bad. I'm dead serious. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Yeah, I know. All right. Oh, my God. I really don't like that setup of the controller because it literally has an arrow because they put, couldn't put it there. Then arrow pointing. Okay, here's the here's the throttle trim. Watch my head be drifting the other way now. No. Oh my god, bro, this is a bad spot to test it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a uh, that's the mud pit for ya. Straight enough, right? Yeah. You never give me work. <laughs> Guys, so yeah, so that's the mud pit right now. And I'm actually glad I'll take it back and I'll actually thank you guys for piling the brush up over there because I realized when the mud pit fills up, all that brush would have been swept out. A log had already gotten picked up and swept out to the mud pit. Mm. Shut up! Yeah, every time we film, every time yeah, there's just a bunch of noise. Anyhow, over this way, little woods update, guys. We did clear out this hill climb a little bit more. So this has all got cleared out, actually. I mean, I'm actually a heck of a job, actually. Yeah. It was getting dark, so we did miss a little bit, but it actually yeah. looks real good. There's a couple of things sticking up, but, yeah. Oh, nothing the outcast can't handle. Real steep, though. Real steep. And sorry, guys, my throat's starting to go. Just filmed the video before this. And when we really start going crazy to film in my throat, I, th I shouldn't have yelled. My throat is, is already dying. Okay, here we go. Time to navigate. No problem, baby. Add a girl. Let's try this. No hands, right? No hands. Yeah, no hands. Nice and steady. Over oh. that, no problem. No problem, baby. Here, here's gonna be a difficult one. <laughs> Oh, nice, got rotten wood on me now. Dude, I ought to be able to do it with no hand of God, I believe. Uh oh, here's where the problem comes in. I should just be able to hit it, right? Yeah, my tire will. Again, no problem. Just nothing, to, a human struggling more. How about Trish? Yeah. Here we go. Max, this is a good idea, thank you. You're welcome. Look at this. Now you owe me some money. I see it from the mud marks. You can actually still see mud marks. Sorry if it's getting a little dark, guys. It is later in the day. The creek actually literally went up to here, okay? It literally went up to here. Film, film that way, yeah. That's how far up the creek was. All the way up here, bro. Very, very, very high. Power. So I hit that the brakes. That uh, is that gonna a damage the RC car? Like, what's gonna happen? Like, and how do I fix that? Do I need an ESC programmer to do that? I'm assuming so. I know some ESCs just plug into your PC and do that, but I haven't really like ventured deep into that. But I know Spectrum sells ESC programmers for like dirt cheap. But but this is a Maba X. It's a Castle Maba XL X2, I believe. So. If I need to just get a programmer, if, if, the, if that's the problem. I've been told though, it's the braking car. You guys are so helpful, thanks. Yeah. Just saved that. 100 miles an hour, guys. Still not geared it down because it's been running very cool. Food. The more you say 100 miles an hour, the more angry comments you get. I know, that's why I keep doing it. 
But then when I reply to you asking, explain to me how it's not 100 mile an hour, and I'll get people tell me, oh, my slash is quicker. You know, this is quicker, that's quicker. Guys, how do you know how much throttle I'm giving it? Okay, yeah. half You're the time, it. it is very rare that I'm in the camera angle. And plus, when I am in the camera angle, I'm that far back. How can you tell how much I'm giving it? And most of the time, okay, can you tell how much throttle I'm giving it? Max, watch, film it, film it, film it, film it, film it. Can you can you tell how much throttle I'm giving it, guys? Could you could you tell there how much that was? A fool. It, it, exactly. That's that's the people right there that you know <clears throat> they can't they, they they they'll tell you, oh well that's not hundred mile an hour, guys. You don't know how heavy I'm getting on the throttle. You and another thing about it is it's so heavy, right? There'll be people like, oh my slash is quicker. My slash is way quicker. Okay, well your sixty mile an hour slash is not quicker. I'm telling you that. The reason why it looks quicker is because it's lighter. So like with the Typhon 3S, with that much power and that light of an RC car and that small of an RC car, it's gonna look more uncontrollable, therefore it looks quicker. Now with this thing, it's big, it's super heavy. And I thought my X-Max was heavy. This thing is super heavy since it's a lot of metal and upgraded motor, ESC and all that. So it's super heavy of an RC car to begin with. Sorry, my throat's dying but super heavy. That's why it looks more controlled and more planted onto the ground. Plus, you guys don't even know how much throttle I'm giving it. So, if you're gonna comment that's not a 100 mile an hour RC car, I want you to look at all the electronics. I want you to tell me how much throttle I'm giving it. I want you to tell me every piece of evidence as to why that's not a 100 mile an hour. Because I'll tell you what, I took it on a little road, little straightaway, hit about 50, almost wrecked the thing. Just a little throttle tap. Throttle tap, okay? So, Max watched it. He can contest. Yeah. I mean, that, that was insane. All of you watching are probably smarter than me. And that's why some of these people, it's an, it's an a shame, because it's like, they're trying to say it's, it's way slower than 60 miles an hour. So it's really an a shame, because some people are like so good at this hobby. It's like, you're just going to make a comment like that, and you have zero evidence behind it. And I ask you, and it's like, you can't even respond back. So if you have evidence, bring it to me, OK? Because I have all my evidence, and I'll lay more out, okay? But I don't want to bore you guys with a rant, because half you watching this already know it goes 100 with the right gearing, okay? Yeah. With the gearing that's in it, possibly. If you gear it up, 100%. With the gearing that's in it, I think it's already geared to be the 100 mile an hour. But I, r roughly speaking, it could go up a little bit more, but he had to, he put such a big pinion in it, he had to go down on the spur. And I believe if you do go down on the spur, I could be wrong. Correct me, because again, I don't know everything. I believe if you go, because like the hobby shop on, the, on my X-Max, stay tuned guys, they had me go down on the spur to gear it up. They had me go down on the teeth, on the spur. So if you think about it, the pinion's massive on this, but the spur, because I guess you get all those teeth going against, like not a lot of teeth, it'll make it go quicker, right? I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, yeah, you just have to think about it. Ooh. Ooh, that, that almost made it. Very clean. Okay, clean. I really like these tires. I feel like they're nice. They like like the land. They're nice in general. They're nice in general. Again, that's me not knowing how to drive a stunt truck right there. Like, you gotta learn. Again. Should have committed. See there? I'm good at that, I think. You just saved that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you realize just in time you should have committed. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I 
And this is this gets your adrenaline young. That's why I love this hobby so much. It gets your adrenaline young. Dude, when it lands, you can feel the thump on the ground. It's a heavy RC car. Ooh. Make up your mind. Make up your mind. <laughs> we all make mistakes. It's all about mid-air control. I mean, this is going to fight you. It's always going to want to backflip. That's the thing. It's going to fight you. I got this. And guys, we're gonna get a lot crazier jumps here for you soon. This just needs landscaped. I mean, it, it used to be flat, but... I mean, you're basically landscaping the spot. Oh my God. That is so much more different than the XRT. The XRT loves that. The XRT can come flying up on the side and go sideways and again, it's the different stance. Every RC car is different. This is why like my parents will be like, why do you need to have so many? They're all RC cars. It's like, no. I mean, this is like such a different experience. Yeah, it's like, yes, they are all RC cars, but all RC cars have, like every RC car has a different feel. Yeah, this is like driving a Mercedes versus your Toyota. Like, this is what this is, you know? Yeah. Got charges sometime, you know? Yeah. Like that time of year, it's very cool now. Yeah. See, it doesn't like it. And guys, don't always take my opinion because this might not be for you. I'm just an overall like happy, positive person when it comes to this hobby. So I just love it all, you know. See, it doesn't. It doesn't want to do it. The XRT, you could just ride sideways on. It's such a different experience. It is, you, can, you can only go for like a really short amount of time to get the go. Yeah, it, and it, it forces itself off. It's not even like I am opting to go. Yeah, it's either it just goes up. It's either it just goes that. up while you're riding, or it just it goes down. Off. Wow. The XRT loves going sideways on that. And that was even after the landscape. Level. See? I mean, it's still real fun, though. I'll take it. <laughs> it don't like it. And you just can't rip it as far as you can be on here. Yeah. To be fair, there's a lot of brush growing up, so. That crap's wheeling on loose ground. I know. It's wheeling when it's at like like 10 miles an hour, like 20. Dude, I mean, it, it pulls up. It pulls up in my freaking... You know how you use an engine phrase. It pulls up in every gear. Because that's what this practically is. I mean, I'll be going down. I'll be, go I'll be going like cruising, you know, 25, 30. Get on it. Motherfucker still pulls up. Like, and it holds them too. You can't drive it like the XRT. You really can't. It's its own experience. Wow. It's its own experience. It is its own thing. Like, it is awesome. Especially with this motor in it. It's just such a whole different thing. Whole different thing. Dude, the roost. I mean, she's torquing. She's having a, I mean, torquing, torquing. Having a good old time. Oh my god, dude! Drifting sideways, pulling up into a wheelie. I love this thing. I love it. I love it. it makes me so happy. Max! I'm gonna hit that bend again, okay? Oh yeah. <laughs> It doesn't take, look, Outcast. It doesn't need traction to wheelie. Yeah, this thing making money, getting girls. If this thing's left and right, bro, and, and left and right is still working, getting money out there, you know, doing it, getting it down and dirty in the business, bro. Wow, that sounds kind of, that sounded kind of weird. Oh, shut up. I didn't mean it like that. Shut up, man. Shut up, man. No one, as Cole would say, F you, bro. No one likes you. 
I'm no eager, man. I'm no eager. He, he acts like I have an eager. Like, what does he think? Do, does he think I have an eager, which I don't? Or does he think I don't get girls? I don't know, honestly. I don't know his opinion on it. Yep. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links down below, guys. If you want to see more of the outcasts in the woods, because I do. It's an animal. I'm so hyped up, bro. I'm so hyped up. I'm staying up till 3 a.m., bro. Oh my god. 3 a.m. Not clickbait. Outcast in the woods, 3 a.m. I'm actually literally so hyped up. I love it. Hey, come here. I love you. Max, shut up, bro. I didn't do anything. You were literally about to say something, bro. I was I was gonna say nothing, okay? Man of faith, bro. What is this? It's a pan. Why are you always like that? What is this? And then you go and grab it. Because <laughs> I'm psycho. What do you think? You grab everything that you don't know what it is. I just don't know. That could have been a bomb for all we know. And you would have grabbed that car. All right. All right. That's, that's all for today. All right, guys. That's all for today. Go, go, go. It's Michael Myers. Oh, God. Oh, shoot. Film a trip. Michael Myers.